We're going to model a cartoon head in Cheetah. This same tutorial is in, on YouTube in several places, but there's really not very much good audio to go with it. It's kind of just a go through. The guy's not really walking you through it, and some of them are even upside down, believe it or not, and lay down a box. I'm just going to make it editable. And I'm going to Catmull Clark subdivide. And that will give us this funky shape right here. Okay, so I'm going to get a little closer here. So I want to go to polygon mode. Select polygon. I'm going to enter extrude. Bring it in a little bit like this. Then I'm going to left click again and say extrude. We're going to go back with it. I'm going to transform it. Now I'm going to go straight back. Like that. Now I want to do the same thing now. I'm going to model this the slow, old-fashioned way. Um, the efficient way would be to model half of it, delete the other half, and then mirror it. Okay, but we're going to go through it this old-fashioned way, just so you guys can see me doing it. Because doing it the mirror way would be the only way to get the eye holes the exact same size and yada, yada, yada. But I'm going to go through it like this because it lets you see me do it more, how I do it. See me do it twice instead of just once. I'm going to go back with it here. Okay, now we've got these two little eyes here. So let's do the same thing down here. Enter extrude. Let's see here. Let's select this side. Enter extrude. That. Okay. Now I'm gonna want to delete. Which actually, I made too many polygons here, so it's gonna take longer than I expected to delete them. But still, not a big deal. Okay. Let's also delete that. And delete that. Let's move in here. Now let's go into our point mode so I can see my points. And let's weld a couple of these points together. I have my weld command set to the D key. Okay. And we have that. Let's go in here and let's go back to polygon mode. Let's extrude his eyebrows a little bit here. And I want to do the same thing this side. If I can get it to take hold of that side. <laughs> Select this polygon and we'll extrude it like that. Okay, so now we got this little deal going on here. Let's get our scalpel tool and let's cut a little diamond out right here, like so. Let's go do the same thing on the other side. Now remember, it would be best for you to just mirror this so everything will be the same size, but I'm doing this so you can see me do it twice. Let's go in here. Let's make one more. Let's go back to polygon mode. Let's select our polygons. And let's extrude those. that. If you wanted to, actually, you could even go back into your scalpel tool and make one more right down the center here. Oops. Like that. Let's select our polygons again. 
and we'll extrude it and we'll take it back in like that you see that'll make us a little ear and I'm not gonna fool with making the other side right now because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have but as you can see we can make the ear over there too so let's now go about making an eyeball let's bring in a ball let's bring it out of the way make it editable and let's scale it down to 0 0.25 0.25, 0 0.25. There. Now let's get in close so we can work on this because we're going to texture it. We're going to go into polygon mode and I'm going to select these top polygons right here, like this. Add material. Let's make it black. We'll drag that black material on top there. And what we're going to do is select the rest of the eye here like this. Real quickly, because I don't know how much time we have. There's lots easier ways and faster ways to do this. You can select all and grab it, or however you want to do it. Zoom around here and get the rest of it real quick. I want to make sure I get the whole thing. As you can see though, it's easy to select this stuff. You just paint right over it. Couldn't be simpler really. I think that about does it. Yeah. Now we're going to add another material. This time we'll make it white, of course. And we'll drag and drop it on that section. Now we'll move this over. object mode let's move it over now you can see we got like a little eye there so let's bring it in here let's rotate it let's go ahead and select our box and let's subdivide it Now, as you can see, all I'm going to have to do now is duplicate this, put the eye on this side. If I wanted to, I could even bring in another little box and um, shrink it down real small. Like this. I'm running out of time now. Let's bring it down. Like so. We'll make us a little tooth. Now, of course, you'd want to line this up better. You know, you'd want to go in and do your top view and your back view and all that. Make sure you got everything lined up right. But this is just, you know, quick giving you a demonstration here. Let's see. Let's select that box. Let's copy it and paste it move it over like so grab a quick render here and 
Okay, now we just need to just drag our white texture onto our teeth. Now remember, we still got to do the other eye and ear. But we're getting there. I'm just running out of time. Let's add one more material. Put that on the polygon itself. We'll render. And we have us a little beginnings of a cartoon character. As you can see. Thanks for watching, guys.